was thinking that we could go to the gift shop, get some thank you gifts for Angie and the nurses. Yeah, that'd be nice, but I was actually thinking about, you know, when you get out of this place, you know, like the future. Oh, God, I can't believe I have one. I haven't let myself go there for so long. Well, now's the time. I want everything. I want more of you. Mm -hmm. I want to take a trip. Skiing. You'd love that. <sighs> Granny, I think you'll have to wait a little while to go skiing. No. Why? You, you're afraid I can't do it? No, I think you should do anything you want. Well, how about London first? Do you still want to do that? Yeah, I'd love to. And then everything. Only no visits to any caves or anything like that. I want to stay above ground. Yeah, it could be. It could be a good idea. And then when we get back, we should do that thing that we talked about. Open our own PI firm. I don't remember talking about that. Oh, yeah, we did. You just don't remember. A lot has happened. <laughs> but I definitely know that you gave me a thumbs up on us having our own office. I think you're trying to scam me. Scam you? Yeah. No. Yes. Me? You know, I was actually thinking about taking a break from the PI business and, um... Coming to join you for a while at Fusion. <laughs> I don't know. What? Well, it's kind of the world of cosmetics. You know, it's not exactly your wheelhouse. I thought maybe I could be a, uh, a male model. A male model? And, and why, sir, do you qualify? Because I like to show off what I've got. <laughs> yes, you do, don't you? But could you spend hours in a makeup chair, getting your eyebrows plucked, you know, false eyelashes, maybe a little lip injection? Huh? Fabulous. I think it would be like heaven, you know, have someone do my hair. I got news for you. What? The only person doing you is going to be me. Well, no objections here, baby. <laughs> yeah, not yet, but... But what? What? Nothing. Come on, tell me. What we have is real, right? I mean, we've both been around the block a couple times before. Yeah, but that. that's all in the past, though. And it's never been anyone else. I mean, since we've been together, right? No. Nobody, Greenlee. Nobody. Nice? That's it? Nice? Nice is a Nordic code for it is incredible to be with you always. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Mm, you too. You too. Okay, uh, you know, honey, I just, I don't want to keep worrying about this whole stupid Ryan thing. I'm not worried about Ryan. He's just one man. I mean, other guys are going to worry about with you, right? No. No, there is nobody else. No one. Always only you. No, I... You. Mm-hmm. Mm so you don't ever have to worry about anybody in, ooh, in Chicago or, or any place else. I'm glad you're going. But if you had your way, you would lock me up forever and throw away the key, right? Yeah. At least until Ryan remembers what year it is. None of this means anything to you right now, but before you, I was with a creep. A, a terrible, terrible guy, and I didn't think that there were any other good guys out there. And then I met you. I sure don't feel like a good guy right now, Annie. Oh, all I'm doing is I'm hurting you. I, I know that I can't give you what you, you what you want, what, what you need. I'm thinking about another woman the entire time. I mean... You. That's your reality right now. But I want you to know that I will be here however long it takes for you to wake up and remember me. And what if that day never comes? So, Tad, what's with all the interest in why my dad died? Please, give me a break. Look, if you want to know the truth, fine. I decided to take a case, all right? It's an old case. The cold case is something that happened back around the time that Jesse died. You know, there are certain similarities, so... What's the victim's name? Frankie, come on. Give me a break, okay? Just an unfortunate guy that died of a gunshot wound, that's all. Really? 
Mom, can I please get up out of here just for a little while? I could really use a change of scenery. We've been over this, Frankie. I told you I can't have you wandering around the... Uh, then, then give me some wheels. Tag could take me for a spin. <laughs> oh, yeah. A couple bars, a strip club. What do you say? All right, a wheelchair. Don't leave hospital grounds. That's doable. Mm. Thrilling. <laughs> Hold on. Dr. Hubbard. Uh, yeah. Uh, my and I have some questions, too. Check on that About my dad? Thank you. I'd also like you. You know something, don't you? Mr. Martin, you have a call for nurse's desk. Thanks, Nancy. Right in. Give me a minute. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, hello. Hey. Uh, what's up? So we clear on everything? I'm not sure I know what you mean. Oh, come on, Tad. Of course you know what I mean. You never saw me. You got it? I got that part. Tad, my family's life depends on this. Yeah, I got that, too. Listen, how did she even know I was here? I don't know. Stupid. I was a detective, remember? Listen, uh, now isn't a very good time for me. Yeah, well, me either. I gotta go. That's not what I meant. Listen, I just thought... Dad? Wheelchair's on its way. You take good care of my boy, Dad. Oh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> well, kiddo, you heard your mother. The strip club is off limits, so it's gonna have to be the commissary. You can cut the small talk. Oh, come on. Don't take it on me at the food stakes. Tad. Why were you asking about my dad? Frankie, come on. Why shouldn't I ask about him? Look, come he was on, important to me. He was a good man. Don't give me the same song and dance I've been hearing my whole life. I'm sorry. Keep forgetting you were so young when he died. I was five. Yeah. I know I was there when your mother found out she had to tell you. Although how you tell your son something like that. You know something, even back then, you were uh, quite a sharp kid. Always saw through everything. Yeah, well, that hasn't changed. So what are you not telling me? Dr. Glory, can it be? Two of my favorite fellas in the Mom. same room. Mm -hmm. Good morning, sweetie pie. Can I get one of those from you, too? Of course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at you, just as delicious as ever. And that mama of yours has not aged one whit. I hate her for that. <laughs> sure is good to have you both back. Though I could have done without the scare on your part, you know? Uh, makes two of us. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to forgive her. Your parents and mama go way back. Oh, oh yeah, way back, way, way back. back. I knew your folks when they first met. Yeah, it was way just back. like... It was just like, what, those families in uh, Romeo and Juliet. Uh, oh, way back. oh, stop it, stop it. <laughs> no, but your mama, she was just such a sweet young thing. And uh, your daddy, well, he just oozed charm from every pore. But uh, he had a way with finding trouble, didn't he, Tan? Oh, that he did. But then you came along, and he turned his whole life around. He really did. I never saw a man who was as proud as he was. He would stop total strangers on the street to show them pictures of his new baby boy. The truth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And speaking of that, when am I going to see my new baby I, granddaughter? I, I know, Mama, again, I know. Huh? I, 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 soon. I uh -huh. promise. I told you the other phone, I Better swear. be, because you know I'm going to pester you till I, I do. I know you will, Mama. All right. After all. I am available for I babysitting and the race. They're very good. You're, uh, you're going to have to forgive her. You've just been opalized. You okay? All these people knew my dad. Well, like I keep telling you, he made quite an impression. Look, um... 
I know I've been sick. Real sick. And people see things. I don't know, visions from the other side. I don't know. But when he left my room, I could smell him. His aftershave, his cologne, whatever it was. I didn't hallucinate no, that. Frankie, you know, your mind can play tricks oh, on look, you. Oh, come on. Give it another crap. crap. Look. Is there a chance in hell that that what I saw was real? 